over because I started without Brooke. So we are going to start at S and we are going to extend S's line up uh, a quarter of an inch, but it needs to be on the curve that you just built, not straight up perpendicular to the line, but straight up the curve you just built. This becomes T. And you're going to draw a slightly sloping line from T to R. And from T to S. So can you see how we're starting to get the outline shape of pants? Okay, we just have one complicated curve left. Sadly, it's the worst. This is the curve that will make everything about the pants either work or not. Because this is the crotch curve that we're gonna be building right in here. Okay, and once again, we want a slightly lazy letter J. Not a straight up and down letter J, a slightly tilted letter J, because hopefully R is not straight up and down from I anymore. Hopefully it's on a diagonal. Okay. From R, we're going to draw a straight line to F. From G, do you remember where G is? This one's I, this one is G. From G, we're gonna measure straight up one inch. And that is gonna become U. From U, we're gonna draw a straight line to I. I'm drawing dotted lines because they're not real lines yet. From U to I, you're going to find the midpoint. That is going to become a V. So right here in the middle, it's kind of hanging out here. Hi. Is that better? Okay. From G right here, you're going to come up one inch and that becomes U. You're going to connect U to I. Halfway between U and I, you're going to find V. V is the only point you need. You're going to draw a curved line connecting F to V to I. Okay. 